Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode we're going to be looking at Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, so this is the new Education Edition, it's going to be coming out for schools. Um, and it's not, I mean literally, only schools. So um, you have to have a, an educational uh, email and uh, at the moment there's a free beta so this beta's uh, running up until I think about September and then there's going to be uh, a school fee you'll be able to kind of uh, have this for your school and also you're going to need uh, an education you're going to need to sign into your Minecraft account uh, to be able to do it so that's linked to uh, Office 365 as well so they're they're locking you in <laughs> they're locking you into some Minecraft uh, Microsoft uh, product as well I you know that's not very surprising uh, so it's really up to you how you want to do it I just thought what I'm interested in doing is just having a look at it uh, and seeing what the beat is like and seeing what some of the tools are like as well and giving you guys uh, an opportunity to, to kind of have a little p poke about it and seeing what's about as well I'm also considering to uh, we're also thinking about kind of doing some tutorial videos with the, the education edition as well and letting people kind of think about how how we can actually use it within the within classrooms, uh, but also think about how you as maybe teachers or content creators can create uh, interactive elements to it too, because there's some really cool there's actually some really nice uh, little uh, tools uh, and other bits and pieces within the education edition. So let's, this is what the the front page looks like. Uh, we can have a look at some options, and you can see straight away that it doesn't look like traditional Minecraft. It looks like more like the tablet version of Minecraft or Windows 10 version of Minecraft as well. So we've got uh, my name, sound, music, difficulty, or, or the kind of basic stuff like that. We can actually do multiplayer. So it's very easy to kind of create multiplayer uh, uh, environments within it, just on a LAN network. We've got uh, our kind of game stuff down here with our controls, with our sensitivity, whether you're left, or right. Uh, you can have controller setup as well. So you can actually use a, an Xbox controller. We've also got uh, the graphics, brightness, render distance, and all that kind of stuff in there as well. It looks like there's some more stuff down there. View bobbing as well. Uh, so let's go back. Let's go into the skins as well because the skins are quite nice. And not only do you just get the kind of the traditional stuff, but you've got all the a, a glorious, a dizzying array of amazing skins. Some of them are really cool actually, uh, and these are included. It seems to be these are included within the education edition too. I've gone for a mad scientist down there. He looks pretty cool. <laughs> so let's go off and play. I've been playing around with some some stuff up here. Let's go straight into this world here, and uh, and take a look. Hello, Sheepy. How are you? Uh, now in in, uh, in here we we can we can dig around. Okay, uh, this is a flat world, just a creative flat world that I've created. Okay, there we go. You can create uh, a kind of uh, just normal worlds and and to play Minecraft. You know, traditionally. <laughs> uh, let's just open up our menus and go and have a look, look through. So we can kind of see we've got some bits and bobs down here. And these are the three, one of the three new bob, uh, blocks. Most of the other stuff is pretty traditional. Although ice and packed ice look pretty similar to me, actually. Look at packed ice there. Ice generally is transparent, but it doesn't look transparent there anyway. But anyway, we've got these three new blocks. We've got a border block. And I can't place it down. Now, the reason I can't place it down is uh, because you need to, you, the, you've actually got three different profiles. You've got uh, an operator, which will be someone who's kind of, I am an opt, I'm opt on my, my own server because this is my own game. But you can also be a world builder and you can be normal. So an operator is able to use commands and other bits and pieces. And I can definitely do that because I can actually type stuff in, okay? Um, and if you want to know about some of the commands, the, the easiest way to do that would be to press T uh, or even to press, ret uh, I think it's just press return, oh no, forward slash, oh, that's what, okay. And it gives you a list of commands at the top there, which is quite nice. Also, you can just press forward slash and tab and you can actually tab through pretty much all of them. Another good way of doing it would be to type in help like this and it gives you kind of what, uh, one page of five. So to, to go through the whole different help things, uh, you can go through each one like that to so help two, help three, help four, help five. If we start start to have a look at these things, we can see it's got four slash ability, then these kind of uh, open bracket player target, uh, open bracket ability, and there's a string. And a string doesn't mean literally a piece of string. <laughs> it means a string of letters and numbers. And then a value of bool, and that means boolean, and bool stands for boolean, which is yes, true or false. So what I want to do is give myself the ability to actually place down blocks. So to do that, we're going to say forward slash uh, ability, 
okay and then tab my name and then my name thank you and then tab world builder and then tab that's true okay so as soon as it says the world builder ability has been granted to you your ability has been updated press escape to get out of here now I should be able to build like this so this is a border block and a border block uh, is a block which um, you can actually use to constrain your players into a particular area uh, it should be interesting um, I'm not too sure I would like a better way of, 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 of creating it okay but uh, these border blocks okay uh, so let's 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 give myself ability uh, Adam say will may fly will build a I wonder if you have normal uh, normal normal oh will build a false will build a false okay so my world building ability has been revoked okay so that's how we do it and now and now I can still fly but I actually can't get out of this space okay I can't I can't go beyond the border block isn't that great Dumpf. I'm trapped inside of it okay so that's sort of useful uh, but you have to build a border which might be a bit boring to be honest uh, because there's no easy way of kind of creating uh, particular border sizes uh, in uh, Java Minecraft obviously there's this thing called world border and that constrained all of the players so maybe there's a, a midway maybe maybe there should be a block that actually does world border because another thing is that I'm concerned about with this with this board block is that um, that's all very well but what happens if people spawn over there <laughs> they're not going to be in your border are they? <laughs> no so we'll see how we'll see how that 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 uh, moves through the beta um, so let's let's get back to my true ability here okay so that's that's the world border so that's a good way of constraining your players within a particular area uh, another thing is the allow block so if we place down the allow block um, uh, and players are normal okay and then there's the deny oh the deny block deny allow okay um, uh, and these could be underground you know they could have they could have grass on them. Let's put some grass on top or something. Uh, something on top here as well. Okay, just just so you can see which which is which side. Okay, um, and then I'm going to revoke my ability um, again. Okay, uh, I can. So that that is allow and that is deny. So I can place stuff on there. But I can't place stuff on deny. Okay, I can place stuff everywhere else, <laughs> but on deny I can't place it. So you could have these blocks uh, underneath um, a, an area, a, a blocked-out area uh, that allows players to, uh, you know, break blocks. And they can't even break blocks on top of this stuff. Okay, so it's like if you want to keep things safe and secure that you built uh, that kind of has uh, that kind of have, has that kind of stuff in that's what you could do let's see if we could just go into options and um, turn the turn this turn the turn the day and night off I wonder if there's that's that's an ability oh I tell you what it could be it could be um, a command it could be time time no not time query time time set time set day there we go perfect so we just turn it back to day which is great so there's there's a few recognizable commands within here as well which is quite good so we've got these two blocks as well uh, allow and deny we've also got these boards let's, let's put these boards up too oh <laughs> give myself an ability ability and um, we'll build a true okay uh, so we've got um, a post, a board, a poster, and a slate. Let's look at these slates. So these basically are. If I click in them, I can I can actually say you know hello, uh, hello world, and press OK. So nice instructional stuff. Uh, on, you know on a board. I wonder if we can go on a. Uh, oh yeah. So, so it, it's kind of a different sign, but it's quite a nice sign because it feels. It's a chalkboard, you know, it's kind of got educational stuff in. Um, 
at this is a bit longer dot 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 let's see how many dots I can get in here I wonder if it's uh, like that okay so that's a bit longer so that's quite good hello world and that gives the size of the text you can get in there as well that's quite good it's different from uh, signposts and stuff like that. and then this is just a slate uh, good morning dot 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 uh, press return. I can't press return. That's interesting. Just space. Can't press space. Uh, this is a smaller size. Oh, I can, but it didn't. So there's a tiny bit of a bug there. Let's have a. Yes, that's a bit odd. There's no. I can't see. Uh, <laughs> it's very strange. Good morning. So yes, yeah, so we need we need a little bit of work doing on there so we can actually see what's what. Okay, cool. So we got those two things, and then we got the, this. This is my favourite thing: spawn an NPC. An NPC stands for non-player character. We're just going to spawn that guy, this little chap here. Hello, how are you doing? You're going to look at me. You're going to interact with me. You're just going to look over there. Okay. Well, I'm going to right-click you, uh, and this guy is an NPC character. So he's a character who can give information. I can give uh, players information and possibly quest stuff okay possibly you know it depends how you learn so learn more uh, so you could say um, my name is Joe uh, and learn more from uh, Matt okay we can change their look as well they've got loads of different looks which is quite sweet I like quite the long head What's that one? Okay, we'll do that one. And we'll then click that off. And there's our person. There's Joe. Now, if, if we if we click Joe like this, uh, so we can learn more from Matt. So that's quite good. I can give players information, possibly quest stuff. Okay. Let's turn myself not into a, build, a world builder um, and see what that looks like if I'm not a world builder. Let's click you. There we go. Learn more. Oh, learn more is actually uh, opens up a website. So there we go. So you can put a URL in there. <gasps> oh, Joe, that's amazing. That yes, Joe. So we actually have learn more from URLs. Okay, I didn't even know that. That's great. So <laughs> hooray! Uh, let's just see if we can open up. Oh, I can't open up an empty map because I need to be a world builder. Uh, ability Adam world builder true. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is, I, oh no, can't even do that. Joe, I can't open a map. Can you? You can't give me a map as well. Um, oh, there's a map. Let's open that up. Um, I checked it on the. F oh, look at all these. So they, these. All oh, right, okay. So let's go this. So this empty map turns into this. So there we go. There's a map. So I use an empty map, but it spawns directly into my um, into my inventory. So maps are useful because they tell us where we are. You can see in the top left hand corner we've got a position. And that gives us our X, Y. Y is up and down. X is the first number. So I'm traveling in X at the moment uh, and Z. So uh, X, Y and Z. So that's our 3D, um, our world in three dimensions. Okay. So if I go down, doop, okay, that's great. That is useful if we ever want to place a block or set a block so for example we could do set block uh, you know we could use tildes as well couldn't we tilde tilde minus one tilde and then we're going to do oh, anvil bed bedrock uh, beach not beetroot let's do brimstone brick block perfect and um and it can actually set a block there, which is quite, which is reasonably useful. Reasonably useful. It'd be more useful if it was in a command block, wouldn't it, Joe? Yes, it would. So we're looking forward to command blocks. And we're looking forward to some of these kind of things coming in. But that kind of stuff is actually useful because you can fill an area in, especially if you want to fill in. You, if you've got a fill tool as well. If you want to fill some of these uh, allow and deny blocks in, that should be super useful, chicken. Super useful. So we've got a couple of new things in here. So let's just, I'm just going to have a read of this. There's also a kind of a crib sheet. There's a feature guide. So we've got, uh, we've got uh, these allow blocks. We've got the boards we've seen. We've also got a camera and portfolio. 
Okay, so I'm going to try and find out how we do that. Oh, there, there we go. Okay, so there are... Uh, you can actually set an inventory slot. Okay, so to do this, let's do set uh, fixed inventory slot. Okay, zero and then camera. Is it just camera with a little thing? Yeah, camera and press return. Oh, it's too small. Oh, I've got to actually give it a number. Okay, I wonder if I could, there we go, camera one. Oh, uh, slot. Maybe I did it wrong. Camera. Maybe that's one. One. Okay. So there we go. So we've now. If you see, I've got a fixed inventory stop, which is this camera on the right hand side. So that's another new thing inside of this. We can actually have a camera. So I'm gonna. I wonder if I can set it down like that. Yeah, me and Joe. We're gonna take a picture. So let's take a picture. Joe, look, 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 look. Joe's looking at me. Thanks, Joe. I was <laughs> looking at the camera. We've also got a, uh, let's try and get our portfolio as well. So we've got this thing, which is set it fixed inventory slot one, or maybe it's two, I don't know. Uh, it should be portfolio, portfolio. Okay, there we go. And now this is our portfolio. So this is another new kind of thing. For if I right click my portfolio, there's a picture of me and Joe. Joe's obviously looking in my ear because uh, obviously I've got a bit of wax in there or something like that. Sorry about that, Joe. But there you go. So these are kind of the these are kind of the some of the kind of things that we can kind of expect uh, from uh, from uh, from the education edition. Uh, other than that, it's got a a small arrangement. Uh, of uh, of commands, you know, time toggle down for we can actually do. We can actually set the weather. We can do XP as well, which might be quite good. And we can do game rule. I'm just going to just test out game rule, game rule, fire damage, immutable world. Uh, interesting. That this means the world cannot be altered, but doors and levers could still be used. So this is a little bit like adventure mode, PvP, and that must be true or false. Uh, what are the game rules? Drowning damage off. Uh, you can have that off as well, so kids, the kids don't drown. Full damage off as well. Uh, true or false, I should imagine. Um, immutable world, PvP. So these are all the game rules. Let's have a little look at uh, at some of the other game modes. Uh, game mode. Creative survival, creative survival, creative. Oh, uh, uh, so let's do survival. See what that. Uh, see what my health bar looks like. Yay! So I'm now. I'm in survival mode. Should I be? Could I? I shouldn't be able to move over there. Can I, I can still place this stuff down, and I can still move over this stuff as well, which is quite funny. Uh, I would have expected that to actually stop if I was on survival, but there you go, Joe. There you go. It's all new. It's an all new world. Can I move through these things as well? Yeah, I can. So these are not. Um, these have got, not got a hitbox on them too. So there you go. It's, it's turning into night time. I just wanted to show you this. Look, I'm in survival and I can still place things above that. Oh, but they, they break in a different way. Uh, that's quite nice. Okay, good. But I suppose I'm getting hungry and stuff like that too. Thank you so much, everybody, for sticking with me and uh, having a look, look at uh, the new Minecraft Education Edition. If you've got any questions about it, do uh, do debate them in the comments section below. I'll try and answer as many as I can. Uh, and uh, maybe some of you will be actually using this uh, this bit of software come the summer, uh, next summer, and you'll be using it in school. So we'll be, I'll be really looking forward to seeing what people make with it and, and how it's being used across the board. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!